Hello YouTube fam. Welcome to Cherry's Hauls and More Vibes. How are you doing? I hope you all are doing fine on this wonderful Sunday that I'm filming this video. It probably go up Monday or sometime next week as soon as possible. But what I'm going to be doing today is a Cherry's Review Empties. And I have quite a few items that I will be showing you and I will be saying yes if I were to purchase the item. And then I will be saying no if I would not repurchase the item. And then maybe, if maybe it's a possibility that I will repurchase that particular item. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm pulling out of the bag is Ruby Red 100% Juice Ocean Spray. I have shown this before, so this is a yes. I will repurchase it. And I purchased this from Amazon. And the next item I have showed previously as well is the Outshine Fruit Bars. But this is the pineapple. I usually show the lemon or a different one. But this is actually the pineapple. And yes, I will repurchase the pineapple. I like it. it. Tastes good. It's my guilty pleasure. Now here's something different that I tried. Now, this is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Waffles with Cinna Dust, it says, by Pillsbury. Eight waffles is in here. And I purchased this particular item from Kroger. 140 calories for two, I believe. One waffle, 140 serving size. So... This is pretty good, you know, and have the cinnamon taste. So I like that. You know, I just wanted my waffles to taste just a little different. So I like it with the cinnamon taste. But my preference, my preference is still the the regular waffles or buttermilk waffles. Because, I mean, if I just want that little cinnamon taste, though, then I would purchase, uh, repurchase this. So, yes, I will. So a cinnamon toast crunch. And I believe they have a cereal called that or something like that. I don't recall if I ever even tried the cereal before, but I, the waffles are pretty good. So if you want a waffle with cinnamon taste, then I would recommend these. So yes. Right, next we have some Canadian bacon. And I, I try to take a few photos, so I think I took a few photos with me using this particular bacon. I'll try to include it in this video. And I believe this is my first time trying the Kroger brand Canadian bacon. I believe I ordered it uh, on their app, from their app. And I think they didn't have the one I usually get, Jones or some other brand. So I just decided I'll go ahead and try the Kroger. Uh, well, they just gave me the Krogo brand. And yes, it, it tastes pretty good. Canadian bacon. I hadn't had Canadian bacon in a while. So yes, on this. We already purchased that. And next we have some it's that Vita Avida cocoa, coconut water, the original. And I purchased this from Publix. And yes, I will repurchase this. I, pur I purchased this from, from Publix. And yes, because, you know, it's, I usually put this in my smoothie. I don't usually just drink it just, you know, naked, just by itself. I'll put it inside of something, so... No problems with this in my smoothie. It was very good with the pineapple smoothie that I made. Now, speaking of pineapple here, ooh, it leaked on me. Ooh, glad I got a tissue over here. Some water or something from the bag leak. Or pineapple juice or something. But anyway. So I'm gonna leave it in this bag. I don't want to open the bag because I try to sometimes rinse the stuff out so it won't 
you know, smell until I do the video. Smell too bad. So this is the pineapple chunks. And it's 16 ounces. And so, yes, I will repurchase this. It's just fruit that I use. It's from Publix for my smoothies. No complaints about that. Okay, the next items, I believe I have three of them. Let me see if I can find the other one. I don't see the other one, so I may just come back to that because I had three of them. Hopefully, I can put it in this bag. Let's move on to something else. Next, I have this right here, which is Tony's. I don't know how to pronounce that second word, but it's Tony's. It's original Creole seasoning. It says great on everything. And I primarily use this with seafood like fish. Fish is my primarily when I use this. So, yes, I will repurchase this. I purchased this from time to time. Okay, another seasoning is onion powder. I purchased this. This is Smart Way brand. This came from Kroger. Not sure where the seasoning came from, but you can buy that seasoning that Tony's from different variety of stores. They, you know, it's quite popular. But the onion powder, uh, this is from Smart Way, and I purchased it from Kroger. So, yes, uh, I use this a lot for my seasoning onion powder. I use quite a bit of onion powder. Especially if I don't have like an onion and I want that onion flavor, I'll just use the seasoning. Okay, now y'all, we're gonna talk about something that is not my fave. It's right here. Publix, I purchased it from Publix. It's cut okra. And hopefully you can see how much is in the bag. 15 ounces. There's the nutritional facts about it. Now about this product right here, or this item. Um, okra's not my favorite vegetable, for sure. And it may not be yours or some other people as well. I don't like slime. I'm just going to straight out say it. I just don't like that sliminess about it. I do like fried okra because you don't taste the slime. It's the slime. It's about the texture with this particular product, okra. So I just, I'm trying to um, eat different vegetables, not just always the same vegetables, the ones that I like, such as spinach or broccoli or corn or whatever I, I like. You know, sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. So... I, I think it's considered in the vegetable because some items you'd be thinking of vegetable, they say that's a fruit. But anyway, this, I don't like the slime. I mean, I hadn't cooked okra in so long. I, well, the only type of okra I ever cooked really is fried okra. You know, fried okra is what I like. But I don't think it's as healthy as, you know, just the probably the fresh okra or the frozen okra okra uh, that's slime mm -mm. but the reason i decided i would eat it is because i was um actually i was watching a youtube video and his doctor said that if you have, have high cholesterol okra is good he was just naming some of the things vegetables or foods that's good for people with high cholesterol and i believe okra was in there because it or the slime chill seeds Chill seeds don't bother me because it's mixed. Usually I mix it in something. So, you know, like I usually put in my smoothie. But as far as the slime for it is, mm -mm. I'm still going to eat okra. But the next time I make it, I think I'm going to put it in. Uh, now I can eat it in a gumbo or stew or soup, something like that. Because you don't really taste that sliminess. So, something like that, I probably eat it in. But, yeah. Mm -mm. I just didn't like the texture of this. I season it. It tastes pretty good the way I season it. It's just the slime. Because I, what I put, see, I don't cook okra, so I don't know. if You could comment down below and tell me how you cook your okra, what you put in, or how you season it. But as far as me, as far as me I don't really cook okra that often. You know, like I said, this is actually my first time probably even cooking okra. 
Because I remember my mother used to cook it, and I, she used to have them whole ones. So I'm thinking with it cut up, maybe it won't have as much slime, but it's still slimy once you cook it. She would have, um, cook the whole ones, and she just eat it. I'm like, uh-uh, I, I didn't like the slime, and I tried it before, and then, so I don't never eat okra. So I decided, unless it's fried, remember, unless it's fried or it's cooked in something. So anyway, but I, don't, I don't lost my train of thought. But I will, uh, next time I cook some, though, I think I'm going to try to make it. And if you have any recipes or any, you know, that um, you can leave it in the box below or ways or recipes that you could make cooks okra where it's not as slimy, I will cook it maybe try to a gumbo or a stew or a soup or something like that. So, but I did step outside the box and try something different and I still don't like it. <laughs> but yes, I will repurchase it. But I think the next time I'm gonna try to cook it differently. You know? Yeah, and I kind of did like a little meal prep with this. So I still have some left and I got to eat it, but yeah. All right, enough on that. And I probably a post a uh, photo of some when I cooked it, a plate of when I cooked this, so you can see how I cooked it. And I put what I put in mine was um, I put some type of peppers. I forgot what the peppers, the name of the peppers. They was like in a jar. Put some type of peppers in there, and I season it with. Uh, I can't even quite remember. Some you know just regular seasoning, salt, pepper, or some type of seasoning salt or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly how I seasoned it, but I know I did try to some peppers in it. And it, like I said, the flavor is good, just the slime. <laughs> but anyway, I've been rambling about this uh, for a while now, so it's time to move on. So let's see. Speaking of, this is one of the things that I did cook the okra with. I had as another side, which would be the the corn, this white cream corn. I usually like the one that's just yellow with they didn't have it, so I just got the white, and this come frozen. And uh, I believe I purchased it from Kroger. You know, the okra came from Publix. So, yes, on both of those, I will repurchase them. So, I did the okra, corn, and some salmon. So, I'll just post a photo of the meal that I had. Yeah, so let's move on. Enough about that slime. <laughs> okay, this is uh, strawberries, Wish Farms from Aldi. Yes, I will repurchase these. No problem, just strawberries. And usually with my strawberries, you know, I usually, sometimes I eat them by themselves, but a lot of times I'll put them like, sometimes in my oatmeal or um yogurt or something like that but yeah yes on strawberries no problem from aldi and next we have something else from aldi's and these are the cashews chili lime and the brand of southern grow this is my first time trying these these uh cashews um and this a no there's i believe it's a no first no i said i would not repurchase these because no, I put this one Aldi. Okay. They taste okay. You know, I'm not going to say they're, you know, just plain nasty. But they taste okay. But I just, I, I'd rather have the dill pickle or the regular cashews or, you know, sea salt, something like that. But I taste more of the flavor when, actually, when I got to the bottom of these, the chili lime flavor. It does taste like that chili lime but it's just, you know, not my cup of tea. I'll I'll pass on these. But they are okay. So no on those. My bag is running over. Okay, I found the other one. This is what I want to bring to y'all attention. This is the lemon perfect hydrate in lemon water with zero sugar. And I purchased these from Publix. I have several of these, three of these to be exact. So this is the original lemon. This one is the peach raspberry. 
And then this is the dragon fruit mango. All three of these. And y'all, I'm going to say a no on these. I'll pass on these. No, no, and no. Each flavor. And they do some, you know, taste sort of like what they supposed to taste like. I'm not sure about that one with the dragon fruit. I don't, I don't sure. I'm not sure. I don't even know how really how dragon fruit supposed to taste. But I would not repurchase these. I I don't like the, the stevia. Stevia is the uh, sweetener that they have and I don't like stevia unless it's in a smoothie and I really can't taste it that much I I taste it in this I, I that's what I don't like other than that these may be pretty good it's just water you know that's five calories hydrating lemon water but no I would not repurchase these though I think maybe but I've wasn't sure. I think I had tried this one before. Actually, I think I like this one the best. If I had to choose one, just the plain one, the lemon, the original lemon. But I taste that aftertaste or that stevia in each, in all of those. So, no, no, no. And next we have another Calafia Farms Organic Oatmeal Original. And this says only have three ingredients. So this is more of a healthier type of uh, oat milk, only three ingredients. And it have, um, I'm trying to see back then, see what the ingredients are, water, organic, oats, sea salt. That's all it have in it, 80 calories. So yes, I will repurchase this. I try Another one that I said I would not repurchase, but it's the, it's, I think it's zero sugar one. I, I, I don't like that one. But this one, it's okay. It's, it's plain, though. It's just very plain. But, yes, you know, I will repurchase it. Oh, here's another outshine. Now, this is my favorite outshine that I purchased the most. It's the lemon. I just like the lemon. So yes, I will repurchase that. Another item I have shown before is iced coffee, Starbucks, medium roast, black. Yes. No complaints with that. And I purchased it from RD and the oat milk came from Publix. Publix, RD. Yes and yes. I believe that's it for all of the food or food related products. Let's move on to other items. Okay, first we have this. This came from Timu. This is a, it says high quality original accessory, best USB data cable. And I have it hooked up now with my plant so but I did, I do have another one that I could just show you all. It's just one of these made like this, but it's not this particular brand. Just, just. Yes, I will repurchase it. Actually, I think I need one more for something else. I'm always needing to plug up something. So, yes. Continue. No problems with it. It's hooked up with my... Um, what did I hook it up with? My grow lights. So, yeah, that's why I couldn't take it loose. I don't, I don't want to take it loose right now, but yes. So far, no problems. No issues with it. These I have shown before. This is the Equate. So, you know, this is Walmart. Um, pointed tilt cotton swabs, 170 count. So, yes, I will repurchase these. You know, I primarily use it for, like, my eyebrows. Or you can use it, some people use it for, like, their nails. Yes, on that. I just like the point that they're pointed. Give that precision. Next, we have some disinfectant wipes, and this is for up and up, so apparently this is from Target. Target. And yes, 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 I've never purchased this, just cleaning wipes. It does as good as any other cleaning wipes, you know. You know the, you know the major brands. So, yes on that. And I have a little story to tell with this. This is Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash. I'm not sure where I purchased this particular one from. And I believe I have another. This is the first scent. But yes, yes, I will purchase this. 
This is good, you know, it's done. It's good for cutting that grease, the power wash especially. It's a long story. Do y'all want to listen? I hope so. Okay. This is this is a really long story. And I'm still going through this issue as of now. But yes, I will repurchase it for the um the done power wash, no problems with it. But I have a, an a air fryer which I wanted to do a deep cleaning on. So I started watching some videos about it. So the lady was saying to mix like this and like baking soda and like um hydrogen peroxide. If you didn't have hydrogen peroxide, so she said you can use vinegar. I used the hydrogen peroxide. I mixed it, you know, and it, it does a good job of cleaning my air fryer. Because I'm talking about a deep cleaning. I usually always clean my air fryer after I use it as far as the basket and all of that. But even the little grooves in the basket, some of them I wouldn't, wasn't getting good. She suggested to get a Q-tip. I did that. And I cleaned mine very well. And up at the top, if you look up at the top of your air fryer and you have not been really cleaning it up at the top, it's, it's, it, could be, it can get really dirty. So I wasn't cleaning the top. I mean, I might just wipe it just a little bit, but not really deep cleaning. So I just started deep cleaning and finally got it really clean. I know I got it pretty clean. You can see the stuff just coming off, right? And it stink too. I just have to say it stink. It smells like fish or something, salmon. I think one time I did cook salmon. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's get to this. Um, if you have an air fryer, and y'all may have seen this, or y'all may already know about it, but I'm just now finding out about it. It was a recall on a particular air fryer. And that air fryer is Kosori air fryer. Now, I didn't notice it, it, you know, about this recall until I went to this latest video and she was telling me how to deep clean your air fryer. And then I looked at another video and said, deep, you know, and after, after I already had deep cleaned it, she, and then she was saying about it was a recall on some of the Kosori air fryers. So I'm like, I wonder if mine in there. And then I, you know, looked my, at my number and all that because she was showing all that. Actually, if you want me to, I just link this video in case you do have a Kosori. But it's the older ones. It's not the newer ones, I guess. And maybe some of the new ones were in the recall anyway, but I'll just um, link that. And so I say I may have that particular air fryer, and then I find out I did. So it's an issue with some of the Kosori air fryers. And so if you have a Kosori, um, I had ordered mine for Amazon. Then you may want to check to see if yours was included in it. And the um, recall went out on February, February of 2023. So that's a long time. So that's a whole year. And I'm you know, you know, year and some months that I'm just now seeing about the recall. So to make a long story short, you know, I'm trying to get on, I'm trying to, you know, I submitted the information they asked for to see if, you know, they could replace my air fryer because, you know, if you have that air fryer, then you may want to get rid of it because, you know, it is possibly, I believe it caused um, maybe fires or, you know, injuries i don't i don't know all exact details but it was just a recall on it so you may want to check especially if you have a kasori air fryer but anyway that's the issue with that's what i use this for to clean the air fryer with yeah because i love it that's my favorite type of cooking i mean i know it's quick and everything i like air fryer cooking i like stuff and i like hot taste in the air fryer you know i like how the fries come out in the air fryer the chicken um I just cook just about everything pretty much in my air fryer. A lot of items. Certain things you just don't cook in. Like I said, I put salmon in there before. You don't you don't do that. I learned you don't do that because it didn't come out. That's one thing that didn't come out right. I have to just put that in the skillet. But anyway, it may be a way that you can cook it. Great. But then it, you know. Anyway, I guess that's enough talking. I have. Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, thank you so, so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. And thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for the people that have subscribed. Thank you for the new subscribers. Welcome to this channel. I hope you enjoy the content. And also for the people that have been with me for a while, been rocking with me for a while. Thank you so, so much. And please, I hope you continue to stay um, subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate that. And take care and have a wonderful week. Until next time, bye now.